Now, the National Research Fund has started a three-year program to restock the superior breed of Sahel cattle through a genetic improvement and multiplication program. The project seeks to improve dairy cattle breeding in a bid to increase milk production among smallholder dairy farmers. The Kenya Agriculture and Livestock Research Organization says the project has already started in Narrow County with a target to roll it out in all the arid and semi-arid counties in the country. The Saiwal cattle in Kenya are descendants of some 60 bulls and 12 cows imported between 1939 and 1963 by the colonial government. The Kenya Agricultural and Livestock Research Organization is one of the leading world's custodian of Saiwal cattle, a meat and milk breed which is highly tolerant to semi-arid and arid conditions. Calro and the National Research Institute have launched a three-year restock program targeting to increase the production of Saiwal bulls. So thank Calro so much for assisting these farmers to come all the way from the Cebu cow to the better cow upgraded uh, breed, of which we are now proud of having 309 uh, newly born crops um, uh, as compared to some years back where there is no single living uh, calf for the for AI. Now we have 170 bulls newly born and we are happy because maybe very soon we will be able to sell to other farmers. The Kenya Agriculture and Livestock Research Organization has already developed a superior breed of dairy cows that are highly tolerant to pest diseases and adverse climatic conditions with the capacity to produce at least 15 liters of milk per day. We understand that we have um, um, a lot of challenges especially when you talk about climate change and our work is basically to um, ensure that the farmers are enlightened on which breeds that are more adaptable to the environment and that are more resilient to the harsh environment that we've witnessed in the recent uh, times and therefore out of that they are supposed to ensure that they are keeping breeds that will sustain them so far over a hundred livestock breeds from narrow county have benefited from the breed that is expected to minimize risk emanating from drought-related disasters. Through the program, 65 farmers and extension personnel have also been trained on the good sidewall cattle management practices. Calro, through its dairy institute at Naivasha, has also begun training farmers on breeding disease control and animal health, feed formulation, value addition, and marketing in the dairy subsector. Reporting for Lunchtime News, I am Teresa Mutai.